morning everyone it is superior lovery i'm here with a cooking video requested by my sister um i am doing some breakfast this morning so i'm going to do some bacon and breakfast potatoes and eggs so here let's go starting out with the sheet pan that i have lined with parchment paper so i'm just going to go ahead and lay enough bacon for everyone on there. I have my oven turned up to 350 degrees and I'm going to start off with 10 minutes and then I'll check it and I'll come back and see how it looks and then I may put another 7 to 10 minutes. It just depends on the brand of the bacon and how thin the slices are so you just kind of have to check it. So now that I have um, my bacon laid out uh, in my sheet pan I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the oven I have some potatoes that I want to go ahead and use up these are pretty old these are probably about four weeks old they haven't started to get the little buds on them just yet They're, they might be starting here uh, just a moment but I wanted to go ahead and use these up so I'm going to use them for breakfast instead of trying to save them for dinner so I'm going to head, go ahead and get these out of the bag. I'm going to spray them down with some fruit and vegetable spray. I'm going to scrub them a little bit and then I'm going to chop them up. So for the rest of my bacon, I don't like to keep it in its original packaging. You can see the package here. When I cut it open, it's kind of messy. You can see that film on there. So what I'm going to do is take it out and then just put it in a Ziploc bag and then it will keep a little bit better. I like to just kind of grab it and fold it down a little bit and then put it inside of a Ziploc bag like so. And then I can just roll the bag down and it keeps a little bit better. So the bacon packaging went from this down to this and this is really a nice size for me to put in my deli container in my refrigerator and then if I wanted to just write the date I could do that here. Bacon is fitting nicely there in my deli container. have my potatoes down in the sink and I'm getting ready to spray them down with my fruit and vegetable wash. I'm going to let this sit for about two minutes and then I'll come back to rinse it off and then scrub them down a little bit. In the meantime I'm going to fill a pan with about halfway full of oil and turn it on medium high heat so I can get it ready for the potatoes. So I have my potatoes rinsed and scrubbed down just a little bit and then I cut off all of the ugly parts so any bulbs or any parts that were um, looking a little not so great really dark spots I cut those off and so now I'm just going to clean them up a little bit more and start cutting them down to a smaller size. So if I find any more ugly parts such as that one, I'll go ahead and take my potato peeler and take that off. Here's my pile of potatoes all cleaned up and so I just return them to the strainer. I'm going to rinse them down one more time and then I'm going to pat them off a little bit with a microfiber towel and then I'm going to throw them in the grease. Just patting these on a microfiber towel because I don't want the water 
from the potatoes to just make the grease just pop all over the place and possibly burn me. So I'm just going to lay them out and pat them just a little bit to get some of that excess water off. So I'll probably do these potatoes in two batches and that way I don't overcrowd my pan. I'm just going to start dropping them in. The oil is very hot. It's been sitting for a while. You can see the oil is pretty hot, almost like deep fryer hot, so these should cook pretty quickly. And I have the eye of the stove turned down to about three. I had to turn it down because it was sitting for a little while waiting for me to cut those potatoes. In the meantime, the bacon has turned out. Um, it was about 13 minutes for the total cook time. I have some leftover onion from a barbecue shop that I went to this week and so I'm just going to use it uh, in my um, breakfast potatoes. So I'm going to wait until the potatoes are just about done and then drop these onions in with them so that they can kind of saute and get a little soft. So I'm just kind of taking the onion and split them in to two for the two batches of potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bacon from the baking sheet and just place it on a paper towel to get, uh, drain that excess grease. Potatoes are almost done. I went ahead and dropped the onions in there so they can get a little bit soft. So these are nice and golden brown and the onions are fragrant. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the oil and put them into a little paper towel dish. So these potatoes are done and I like to just hit them with some seasoning salt as soon as they come out of the hot grease so that that seasoning can stick to them and I'll probably add just a tiny little bit of shredded cheese. I just added a little tiny bit of Chargento shredded cheese on there. So next I'm going to go ahead and start on my uh, eggs. I'm going to turn my heat on to about medium high to low heat. And then I'm going to use whatever butter I have left over in my refrigerator. I'm going to put um, a couple of pats of butter in the skillet, in my cast iron skillet. I'm going to take about four eggs and crack them into a bowl and use my whisk to whisk them up and season with salt and pepper. Okay, so there's my couple of pats of butter getting ready to melt down. I'm not going to add too much salt to the eggs because the butter already has salt in it. Taking a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. I know it says kosher salt, but it's pink Himalayan. A little bit of the brown black pepper. And I'm going to use my whisk to stir the eggs. I'm going to go ahead and pour my eggs into my cast iron skillet. Keep the heat on low. And as the eggs start to cook in the middle, I'm going to move them around so that they all get cooked evenly. Eggs are just about ready to be taken out. So just a quick if, tip if you wanted to melt some sliced cheese over your eggs, you can just take some paper towels and put them, I'm sorry, aluminum foil over your skillet and, and make a little heat oven so that you can melt your cheese. Here is a look at my finished plate for breakfast. Can't wait to dig in. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on my next cooking video.